Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those that don't know me, I'm Mathieu Rabari. I'm a French photographer based in Shanghai and I'm specialized in fashion and event photography. So today's video is actually a little bit special. Today I'm shooting a personal project in collaboration with a fashion designer that is based here in Shanghai. Her name is Shile. She actually contacted me, I think two months ago on Instagram and we met up and we decided to collaborate together. At the moment where we are recording this intro, we've already shot uh, three looks and we're about to shoot two more looks. I didn't record an intro at the beginning because it was such a rush and I just wanted to make sure that we can get the ball rolling and I can get into the, the shooting part. Sophia, the one that is recording right now, uh, she recorded a lot of me talking, so I will most likely put my direction. I've directed a lot in this uh, photo shoot. And so yeah, um, enough of the talking. I will just get on to the video and uh, see you at the end. Okay, so right now I'm just uh, guiding the model and the location. I won't talk too much here because it's kind of a sensitive outfit and we just don't want to waste time. So I'll give you feedback after I shoot it. I don't know what pose you can make, but kind of you look like you are about to attack me. You know like a uh, lion or tiger? When, when they're, they're about, to... they're about, you know, they're about to, to attack all their muscles. I kind of like this. If you can somehow give the same feeling. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. That's perfect actually. Okay, one, two, three. Like when you when you move like that and your arms are like in the back, yeah. Try first to get it like that, and then uh, and then I tell you if you need to look at me or not. Yes, look at me. Stop. One, two, three. This one is great. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, we get we get like good ones. We get good ones. First, we stay front, and I want to see more of the pants. I know it's not a fashion shoot, but the fact that it has fur, I feel like we need to show it. So channel your inner beast and try to have movement that looks beastly but yeah 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 like oh, this whoa, whoa. this is great this is great okay i finished one roll okay you can take a little break i just need to change but so far it's going great so far, it's going great. You're doing it amazing. Good team, good Where team. Is that? <laughs> I know, I know. Everyone is so professional. So this is really good in the sweat. Right? Yeah, and it, yeah, it's good actually in the sweat because it looks more like a yeah, like a beast wild. in yes, the wild. Yes, I, I, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The real will look uh, healthy. Yeah, 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 that's true. Wait for this one. I really want the muscles in the back. So. Here your back is like this, try to make it more like that. And uh, actually, this hand can go forward, but this one make it a little bit, you know, so that you like, a little bit more like this, yeah. Can you look at me? Where are you? Over here. <laughs> perfect, perfect, don't move, don't move, don't move. One, two, three. Cool, we finished one outfit. Wow! Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> hey -ho, hey -ho. <laughs> no shoes anymore. This one is uh, like elegant, yeah. so that's wired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elegant and wired. Language for the vulnerability is really you trying to protect yourself. Yes. Oh, I got it. Okay. Whatever you want. Stop, stop, stop. 
Perfecto. Good. It's good. This one is like uh, really the vibe. Change. Second roll. Finish. Yeah. All right. So right now I'm gonna take a portrait of her sitting on the tree. One thing that I need to mention is the fact that she's backlit. So I have to when I take my metering, I need to take that into account. Second of all, she's wearing dark clothes, which means that I have to kind of compensate for the lack of light that black clothes reflect compared to white clothes and so right now my metering is saying normally to a properly expose I need to do a 2.8 at 125 of a second however I'm gonna overexpose by one stop because I cannot hand hold it at 130 without getting motion blur so that's what I'm gonna do so yeah try to show the muscle of this arm if you can you do it Yes. Okay, 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 we got it, we got it. This one is strong. This one is very strong. Very strong. One, two, three. Okay, another roll. We are three now. Yes, I got something. Alright, so now here, you're not the beast, but you're the aggressiveness. So I want you like to dance and have movement that shows power. When I was like, when I was making you smoke, you look very powerful, very intimidating. Try to have like a body language that is similar. Okay, take more space with your... Less straight, don't do less. Make it more like, uh, yeah, more angles, more angles. Yes, that's great. Okay, yeah. Open your eyes. One, two, three. Actually, can you come a little bit closer? Like, uh, come forward. Stop. That's so sick. Oh my god. One, two, three. Get the, the wig, doing a great job, and now we're gonna do the fun thing after we see with the wig. It's the <laughs> go crazy. <laughs> so I want you to do that. Kind of like uh, feel the animal, like try to channel the animal in you, and then like stop it. So I want one when you do like this. No, 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 but like, no, 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 just go slow. Right now I'm not capturing the movement. I'm just capturing the pose and after I'm going to do the movement. I stop. Lift your head a little bit. One, two, three. Okay, again, but this time I'm gonna do it one second. So the reason I want to do one second is because I want to capture some motion blur to increase the sense of shit. Not the sense of shit, the sense of movement. <laughs> one, two, three, go. Perfect, 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 we got it. Okay. I'm so excited, I want to see it. <laughs> All right. You ready? Again? Yeah. All right. Two, three, go. All right. You ready? Go. Hold the pose. Perfect. So cool! <laughs> Alright guys, so now I have the, the time. So what I've been trying to do, uh, I'm gonna flash on the screen the photo that inspired us actually to do this thing. We shot this six months ago, way before the virus. So basically I said, hold the pose for one second, 
just move crazy so that I can just capture the whole motion blur and then hold the pose. And then he's gonna create kind of like a phantomatic. And I kind of mastered this, mastered. I kind of uh, have more experience now using this technique. So I trust my instinct. I think it's gonna look good. If it doesn't look good, well, you know, you live and learn. But yeah, it's fate. And it's art. No, I'm joking. Art. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it's art. <laughs> You sure? You sure? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I've never tried carrying somebody like this. <laughs> it's my daily life. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, guys. So right now we want to take a photo uh, of her on the tree. Uh, the the concept of the this outfit actually as you can see it has a lot of like fake fur and we want to make her look like a kind of like an animal right now she's doing really crazy stuff anyway <laughs> so the reason I'm talking to you right now on the camera is because I need somebody to hold the umbrella and uh, Sophia that is uh, holding the camera I kind of need her to help me hold the umbrella <laughs> so yeah thank you <laughs> This is my house. I'm the. I don't know. Hey, what's up again, uh, guys? So, right now we're gonna shoot the last outfit. This uh, shoot is gonna be a lot of motion blur, a lot of movement, and uh, here you can see uh, the, the outfit. It's like a very long wide roll. <laughs> It's uh, Chile on the left and uh, okay. Wendlin on the right and uh, yeah. <laughs> we decided to pick uh, this outfit because it's a big one, it's a big, uh, big clothes which is going to put emphasis on the movement. So they will be running, dancing and uh, yeah, you will see. So um, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm uh, going to start shooting. So see you guys. Your clothes are going to look so beautiful. One, don't blink. One, two, three. Go! Stop! Your eyes. Alright, All right, don't move. Go! Ah. Perfect. Wow. Beautiful! Yeah. Ah. Okay. Alright, so this time I'm gonna try uh, Provia 100F because it has a Good uh, a reciprocity failure, which means I can expose it for a long period of time and don't don't need to compensate for that. So just want to get that. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot this really quickly. First time shooting it as well. I'm gonna shoot it at f 5.6 at a second. Okay, look down. Don't smile. Don't smile. Look down. All right. One, two, three. All right, guys, welcome back. So first of all, thank you for making it this far in the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can tell, it was a really intense shoot. We shot from morning to night and uh, I tried my best to interact with the camera, but I was really focused on uh, making the photos and not interacting with the camera. And I would have to say it's completely worth it because I managed to make my first zine out of this project. In case you don't follow me on Instagram or you haven't seen my latest q and I made this zine and this zine is called Persone and Persone means the aspect of someone's character that is presented to or perceived by others. So this project is a collaboration between 
a dancer, Wenlin, a fashion designer, Chile, and the photographer, which is me. And we are all combining our skills in order to portray different characters and different personality aspects of Wenlin. I have to thank each and every one of you that purchased the copy. Um, it's really humbling to know that there are people that appreciate my work and are willing to support me by investing their own money in my artwork. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. If case you want to pick up your own copy and you couldn't make it to my solo exhibition, you can get it on my website. I would urge you to go fast because it's a limited printed edition of 100. Everything has been signed and numbered by hand. I also have to thank my team. So thank you, Chile, once again for lending us your clothes. Thank you, Wenlin, for being willing to be in front of the camera and perform. Thank you, Sophia, for helping me with the behind the scene video, as well as other various photography help I needed on the day. Thank you, Eugene, uh, my producer friend that is helping me at my exhibition to play some music. And also he landed me one of his track uh, for this video. And uh, also, thank you guys. Thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, leaving me comments, contacting me in DMs. It's always a pleasure to interact with each and every one of you. I don't take it for granted. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my zine. I hope you got something out of this video. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs>